station on space to ground. A frigid welcome home for Expedition 49. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. Three space travelers return to Earth over the weekend after 115 days on orbit. Kate Rubens, Takuya Onishi, and Anatoly Ivanishin bid farewell to their fellow space station residents before climbing into the Soyuz MS-01 spacecraft for the trip home. After a successful undocking and deorbit burn, they plunged through the Earth's atmosphere for a parachute landing in Kazakhstan. After initial tests at the landing site and a short helicopter ride, they boarded planes back to home base. Rubens and Onishi arrived back in Houston just a little over 24 hours after their first steps back on Earth. Newly appointed commander of the station Shane Kimbrough was busy this week in the station's Quest airlock. Kimbrough spent several hours performing routine maintenance on U.S. spacesuits on board the station. This helps keep them in good working order for upcoming spacewalks, with the next set coming up in a few months. The Japanese HTV-6 cargo craft is scheduled to launch in December and will deliver a new set of lithium-ion batteries used to power systems on station when on the dark side of the Earth. They'll be installed in a series of spacewalks by the Expedition 50 crew. This week's question comes from the old poet who wants to know what devices on board measure the radiation astronauts are exposed to. Well, there's a lot of them, as radiation is an important thing to keep an eye on. There are several radiation area monitors scattered throughout the different modules of the station. Crew members also keep a small dosimeter with them, usually in a pocket, throughout their space flight that returns to Earth with them and gets handed off to doctors right after landing. There are also payloads like the Russian Matryoshka R experiment and BEAM that are actively recording radiation exposure and regularly have samples and monitors return to Earth. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.